Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group. Okay, so proxy, you might have heard about it. You might have faced an intro question also like what is proxy and where, why do we create proxy server and something like that. So I also face the same question. This is very famous question, I guess. Once you pass, let's say, seven years and eight years of experience, everyone try to see the knowledge, not just what is what is question. Obviously, they are going to move ahead about uh, after the basic question, right? So what is proxy? Now we know basic term. We know like where do we use the proxy when we want to um, impersonate something like that, just want to create a fake identity come something in that context we use proxy word now talking with angular when we say let's say we have an api let's say uh, this is just an existing project i'm using i'm running this project on localhost 4200 right so localhost 4200 i'm running this project what's the route i have let me just open this route proxy slash proxy I don't have anything. Yeah, let's try hi. Fine. So I is getting brand new. I have components. My component, my Angular project is running on 4200. Now I have created my API that is hosted on project API. So see, this is one domain and this is another domain. So let's say I'm I want to execute, I want to integrate this API into this domain, localhost 420. So by default, what happens now? Browser enforce same origin course policy same origin policy you can say so if when a web page try to make a request from to a different domain apart from localhost right when a web page try to make a request to another different domain to get any api data or either a page or something so this policy will be limit will limit your web application not to connect with your another domain that is nothing but course like cross cross, uh, cross origin Something is there, right? I also forgot that the long form cross origin request. Okay. So you might also face the same issue with my API. Now, he asked me, right? I said, like, because I also didn't create that proxy yet myself. In my project, uh, in two projects, I have seen it, but it was not for that solving the course policy. It was some for something else, right? But as we say now, in every project, you might be using let's say polyfill or proxy, everyone use it for different, different purposes. But I don't know like why interviewer will be focused on so much what they have used in their project. They want that answer only. It's not right as I feel because they are someone else might have used it because this is one time thing. No one is going to touch that proxy file once you are done with it. So if you know the basic thing also, it should be okay. But he was so focused into, no, tell me the actual behavior, what happens. So I thought like, let's see what, how do we create our own frogs? Fine. So let's, we are going to do that. So if uh, from this project, if we try to execute this API, let's say get all user API, let's execute. This is my URL. Let's try to integrate this API into our Angular project. So in app config, I have already added that I provide a HTTP client. Now over here, Mm, HTTP is equal to inject HTTP client. Fine. Let's create function get user. Now here we will say this dot HTTP dot get API call. This is my method. Let's subscribe to it. Result to learn any. Let's add a debugger. And this function we need to call on the page load. So let's implement our on in it also. Ng on in it. And you also make sure if your experience is more than seven years now, make sure you have done it at least one time. You are also going to face this question. So don't let that question go in waste. At least have one scenario created by yourself. Fine. Now let's see it. If you open the browser. If you check, we are getting there because my API, the API which is hosted over here, I have restricted some particular port number. If you run the project on 4209, you will get the response. But 4200 port is not allowed. So his question was, I am not, I'm not going to change the port number. With 4200 only, how do we access our API? I'm, 
At that time, I knew that we can do that by using proxy. But exact code, what do we need to write? I told him also, like, like we have to uh, create an environment that request is origini originating from the same domain. Something like that I explained. But he wanted the code. Okay. So now you got the error. If you are trying to access this API on this port number, we are getting the course policy because browser has a, uh, applied that course policy over here. Fine. Now, so how do we solve that? By using 4200 port only, I want to access this data. So now here comes the proxy. Means changing the origin. It's like creating an environment where we are uh, bypassing that core policy. Okay. So for that, you have to create a let me close this. Now you have to create your proxy file. So where do we create a proxy file? Outside your uh, folder structure. So right click, new file, let's say proxy. P-R-O-X-Y dot, let's say it's a config. So config dot JSON file. Okay. So I have created a file. Now here we need to create an object. Now, if our URL contain, let's say slash API, like we also know like what are the API calls going on, it will contain slash API. After that, your method name, controller name can be anything, but we will have slash API, right? So that I will write it over here. If URL contain this, then I need to provide target. Let's see if it suggests it won't suggest. Target. Now, what's my domain? This is my domain over here so this i will put it over here in target i'm saying like create an environment where it sh it should look like the request is coming from this domain okay then secure property then we have change origin property we are saying like local host whatever the original by default, it will be originating from localhost. So we have to change it origin. This is the target we are saying. Change origin colon true. Then log level is not mandatory, but let's write it. Log level debug. So this is something basic code to handle the ports. Again, proxy file is not only limited to solve that course error. So many there are things uh, are there. So token related, mocking related, so many things are there. Okay, just an example. Now, so we created this proxy. Now we have to register this proxy also in, into our angular.json. Now where? So, so yeah, in the serve option after builder, you can add option over here. Option. Inside that, we have to provide proxy config. It's not suggesting. Yeah, proxy config and the file name which you have created. By default, it is on the same level. So we don't have to provide dot slash or something. Directly, you can provide the file name. So this is our file name. It will go over here. Fine. Now see, in our proxy config, you have said it uh, like this is your target. Okay. Now in your API call, what you need to do, you need to change it up till you don't need this target over here. So let's remove this slash API. Let's save it. Let's save it. Let's save it. Now we have done the changes in angular.json, right? So again, we need to compile our project. All imports are unused. Yeah, let it be. Let's stop. Let's run it again. Again on the 4200 only, I'm going to run it. Now we should be able to get the response. Compiler. See, now we got the response. No course error. So this logic he was expecting. I said the logic, but I was not able to write this code. And how you are going to remember this code, I don't know what they are expecting. And this is one time thing. Once you do that, you are not going to touch this, right? So some things we can write if you are doing it regularly. But these are like setup thing. You are going to do it once. You are not going to touch this thing again. But again, 
at the time of interviewer, he is the right person. So we have to follow what he says. Okay. So jokes apart, like how at least a proxy, either this or for mocking or for sending the token or for modifying something, have some example ready. Okay. So when someone asks you like, what's the proxy? How do we create it? At least if you say like, we can create a proxy into our project file and you need to register that into angular.json and whatever the code you write, it can be anything, right? So if you say that at close, yeah, we can create a proxy config JSON file and you put that in, that is also enough. But once your experience is more than seven to eight years now, you have to explain it properly. So be ready for this, right? So I hope this uh, was helpful to you like this, like uh, whatever new question and advanced question I'm facing, I'm going to create a video for it so that everyone will be aware of it like this. These are the question you are going to face right now, not right. But after once you have that particular experience, everyone is going to ask this stupid question. Fine. I won't say stupid, but like you should not waste 10 minutes over this. If you said theoretical part, that's okay. How you can how you can remember all these parameters, right? If you are saying like this is how it should work in theoretically, that should be enough, but I don't know. Fine. So just have this example ready at least. Everyone will uh, first guess will be like, how do we uh, solve the course issue? So this is also one of the case. Fine. So that's it. Uh, I hope this will be helpful for you. Like um, again, so many short, short videos will be there, which will be only focused on the interview purpose only. Thank you. That's it. Bye.